guys welcome to my channel my name is Nifon Tui and on this channel I make sewing tutorials I post new videos on Wednesdays and on Saturdays so if you're into stuff like this make sure to check back on those days in order to watch new content in this video I will show you how to make the beautiful dress that you've seen on the thumbnail and in the bureau seen before um, my introduction please if you like the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up do not forget to share it with people that might be interested in stuff like this and do not forget to subscribe thank you so much to everyone that has subscribed already if you're a beginner or if you're a person that's up on your skill i offer online courses i'll be showing a demo how to make a jumpsuit for you to watch and decide if it'll be convenient for you to learn online all right thank you so much for your time have a lovely day bye bye all right so you're welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to show you how to make the dress you can see in front of you so this is the back okay so let me get to where we have a front okay also there's a dart um, around the bust area that's coming from the side so you're going to have to um, we're going to have to install that so that that edge there stays relaxed and it doesn't puff up so if I switch to one that is um, that has two colors you will see that there is um, the dress start from the top and close to the end we now have another color joint which is what I'm going to be doing okay um, so the, uh, the dress length for my dress is 38 from the bust area all the way down to where there's a joining where the second color meets is 30 and 8 inches is what I would use to complete my dress okay so 30 inches for the main color which is the blue that you can see here and then the gold color underneath for me would be 8 inches long okay um, also if you notice there's a slight V at the back and there's a zipper down the back as well okay so this is it also you can see that there's a cut on the side if you look at this part here closely you see where the back um where the back play meets the front we we'll first need to draft a bodice and then i will show you how to carve out the um the bustier look from it so um, now i'm going to draft the regular bodice from my shoulder to my under bust length to my uh, half cut if you've not seen if you don't know how to draft the bodies please see my video on how to draft the bodies it will give you the first step on how to draft a body so i'm going to draft the bodies and then i'll be back to show you the modifications that we make to the bodies in order to get what um, we are looking for so i'm drafting the bodies now we've drafted the bodies the next thing we're going to do is we have to create that point that v point at the top so what you're going to need the next measurement you need the person's bust point to bust point measurement for this measurement i'm working the space between the nipples to the person um, between the nipples is um seven inches seven inches divided by two whatever nipples um, whatever nipple to nipple measurements you have divided by divided by two so mine is seven seven divided by two three point five plus half an inch three point five plus half an inch is four i'm going to come here place four i'm going to come here place four i'm going to come around here and i'm going to make a mark at four as well okay then i'm going to just connect all the lines together okay now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come from the top and i'm going to cut off six inches so you see here from the top i'm going to come to six inches and i'm going to make a mark at six inches you see what i just did there now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come to the front so depending on how deep you want the cleavage to be so let's say you want to show a lot of bust you see this line here this line is telling us that this is where our bust is going to fall and this point here then um, is showing us that your nipple is going to sit around here so whatever you do please be careful because you don't know how much of the bust is you don't know how much of it's quite embarrassing talking about these things like this um <laughs> you need to be careful when you are exposing flesh okay because as as a as a, a pattern maker as a as a tailor you don't know you cannot know exactly how large the person's areola is that's the 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 patch with, with the deeper color around the bust you don't know how large that is it can it varies from person to person so you need to be careful with how close you come to the center so you don't show bust even though you have not come too close to here um so for me i don't want to come too low so what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to come from here at the front and I'm going to come down to 9 inches and I'm going to make a mark here. Okay, you see that? I make a mark at 9 inches, alright? Okay, so after the 9 inches, we can now simply connect from here to here, like this. Okay, so now that's the first step of that, that V look we have in front, even though mine is not very 
extreme you can make yours more extreme depending on what you want okay the next thing we're going to do is that we need to make um the under bust curve so you see that that's that's coming from the under bust and it's coming up yeah we're going to need to take care of that okay so to take care of it what we're going to do is this i want you to come to the bust line okay you see this side here this bust line i want you to come down from the bust line by one inch make a mark i want you to come after the person's nipple you see this this central point we have here i want you to come one inch after that point and make a mark i want you to connect this line here to this line all right and then excuse me and then after you've connected here to here the next thing you want to do is you want to simply just come up by one inch okay and then come down by one inch so you see this line um, half inch sorry so you see this line that we have here i marked half inch up half inch down i'm going to draw a line and connect here to here draw a line and connect here to here and then what i'm going to do next is this i'm going to come here i'm going to come out by one inch make a mark there i'm going to connect this one inch to this point here okay follow it step by step it's not that complex i'm going to connect from here up okay and then i'm going to connect here back to here so you see this i'm going to connect here back to here so that by the time we hold our dots would have everything is going to balance out nicely all right so now after we have done that the next step is to cut out the boss because it comes up and it goes down um it goes all the way down so what we're going to do is this now you see this bus line see this bus line that we have here we are going to connect a line from here out all the way out okay so you see that now we have done that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this out okay we're going to cut it out now make sure that you do not um you don't add any allowance because we're working with neoprene um in nigeria they call it uh, thick polo it's very very thick for me it has some stretch so we're not going to be adding any sewing allowance on the side for um no reason okay So after you have cut this little piece here, the next thing is to start cutting your fabric. So like I said, I'm using neoprene and we're going to have to fold it like we are cutting a flake. So I'm not going to fold it in four. I'm going to simply collapse it like this and cut. So let me fold it perfectly and I'll show you guys how to cut it. Right, so this is the pattern we just finished drafting you can see the bust point you can see this is the bust line this is the under bust line i'm going to turn this i'm going to flip this like this facing the edge okay you can see the points here where we kept allowance for the dots that we are supposed to hold okay i'm going to simply place this on top of the edge and remember i told you that the length of the blue fabric is going to stop at 30 and the my other fabric the pink fabric uh, fabric because i will make this in two tones my pink fabric will complete the end now remember that the dress length is 30 and remember that here um the length of the blue is 30 and remember that here is 16 because here it's 14 we came down to 16 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep you see my underboss length is 14 i'm going to keep my my tape my 14 on that 14 if we turn to the under part you can see the line that we have over there so keep your 14 on that line and then make a mark at 30 around like a circle so that's what i'm going to do now just simply use your chop you see this point here after the dots you see this point see where the dots see where we have the angle for the dots after the angle for the dots we are going to now draw a line out and connect it to the end over here okay okay so we've cut the first part all right let me get the pink fabric you can see i also cut around the body as well so let me get the pink fabric so we can use that to cut the bottom and then i'll show you how to cut the flay for the back okay so you can see this is the top part this is the bus this is the dart that's the side so we need to cut look at the fabric I, I want to use at the bottom here to give you that dual that two tone okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to need to fold 
the fabric that I'm going to use to cut as the, for the, the extra 8 inches from, I'm going to need to fold it as a flay as well. Alright, so make sure you cut it like you fold it like a triangle. So you see that I've already done that. After making the f um, fold, simply place this pattern on top and cut the extra 8 inches. I'm going to cut 9 because I know that I'll lose half an inch, sorry, one inch when I'm sewing, the joining. And this one doesn't have, I didn't add any allowance to this one. So I'm sending all the allowance to the pink. I hope that that's clear. Okay, so after placing this like this, you see this, we have to follow the same line so that it comes out like that, like a curve. That's why we folded it like this. Um, I'm checking to see if, uh, if we have up to eight inches. We do, oh, I'm going to simply use my chalk to mark eight inches everywhere again. Um, nine inches, sorry. Let me check here. Okay, yeah, we have just enough. I'm going to mark nine inches here. Okay, so the same way I just cut this part here is the same way I'm going to cut the um, bottom part of the flay for the back as well, because we would need to do the same thing at the back. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to divide this piece here, because if you guys look at it closely, there's a cut in front. I don't know if it's functional, but to me, it's, it does, it's um, purely decorative. You're also going to divide the center of the front too. Please be careful so that um, one side is not bigger than the other when you are dividing the top parts. Okay, so we have done that to the both of them. I'm going to now show you how to cut the back all right for the back we're coming back to this original pattern that we drafted and what i want you to do is you're going to come after the dart so you see after the dart here you're going to simply just chop it off okay after the dart you can just cut that out now this is what we need we need the distance from here to here okay to know how wide the top part of the back should be so you see this front pattern that we have here you see this side i just chop off now it's going to be attached to this side over here Okay, you see this, it will be attached to this side over here. So we need to know how wide from here to here is because this part here, this is where our zipper allowance, this is where our zipper is going to be fixed. You see that? I hope that this is, I'm trying to make it as clear as possible. You see this notch that we have here on the body of the front? This is that dart. This is this angle we have. This angle here is this angle for the dart. Here is where this part, the back is going to continue with this part so we need to know the distance from here to here so that it fit nice it fits nicely on um on our client's body okay so yeah that's what i just did now so we're going to simply continue from here to here to get the length and i and this other part here will just cut a flay out of it but i'm going to show you what to do now okay now before we start to cut you still need to fold your fabric like we folded the last time okay okay so you can see this this is the underbust length this is the half length at 16 okay underbust length 14 half length 16 see my my video on how to draft the bodies if you don't know what where, what um, a half length is now see this i'm going to place this one on the top of the edge you see the way i just folded the paper now it was like this i just flipped it over remember that when we we're doing the front we flipped it over too okay so this is the center of the back that i'm flipping towards the edge okay so when you do this place the paper weight on top and then you're going to now start marking all the points so you see i'm going to keep 16 here 14 on this green line that we have here and 16 at the end and then i'm going to make a mark 30 everywhere so i'm going to cut here out so you see that i've opened up the zipper allowance just so that we do not forget which side the zipper allowance. because now it looks a bit similar from both sides it's easy for you to confuse just so we don't confuse the two sides i'm going to make a little a little uh, notch on this part so that i know that at every point in time that this is where our zipper is going to face i am now going to cut the bottom part here with the with the pink but i have shown you how to do that before okay so you see this here this is the back okay so i'm about to join it together this is one side of the back whatever i do to this side best believe that i've done it to the other side so you see this is how it's going to be you can see the two-tone look i was talking about so now we're going to join them together 
okay so as i'm joining to now if you have a um straight sewing machine like the one i have sewing neoprene might be an issue because of it is stretchy so your needle will just be bouncing and at the end of the day your thread will cut your stitches will just not look nice okay like for instance check this out Oh, it's even sewing I'm lucky okay but if you have an issue when you are sewing you can use paper you would see me use paper here sometimes hey, look at it my, my thread has snapped because the needle is bouncing and if you can see the stitches are inconsistent and you don't want that to happen because it will make your work look um, nasty so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use paper to stitch it so what you're going to do is you're going to cut strips of paper long strips of paper like the one I have here you're going to put it in the way where uh, you're going to put it in the path that you intend to sew and then sew on top of the paper now if you can remember on the dress there were it had a, a top stitch okay so the stitched on top of here holding here flat so you see this this joining here will be laid flat and then and then I'm going to top stitch on top of here. So after I top stitch this, I'm, uh, whatever I've done here, I'll do to the other side of the back. And I'll also join the bottom of the front the same, um, the same way. Okay, so I have done, I have joined um all the sides and i have top stitched two times on top of the body to flatten it now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hold the darts okay so i'm going to hold one side and whatever i do on that side make sure to repeat on the other side of the front okay so let's get to it okay so you're going to take a regular piece like this okay you're going to come to the correct side when i say correct side you're going to come to the part where it is clean not the rough side and you're going to make a fold okay so you see this angle that you have here this point that's the point you want to fold it on okay so you make your fold and then you're going to come up to four inches all right from here from this point see this point here you're going to make a fold and then you're going to come up to where you have four inches and that's where you're going to start the darts from so you're going to start from nothing and you're going to open up the darts to half an inch at by the time you get to this point over here okay that's with that we have held the darts okay the next step is to join both sides of the center together so you see this here look at where i have this that look at where i have this that remember this center that we um split in half okay remember the center that we split in half we're going to need to join them together from the top to the bottom okay so half an inch is what you're going to consume when you're done make sure to remove the paper so i'm going to take out the paper then i'm going to spread and iron it i will spread and iron it like this and then i will top stitch on top of here okay so i'll iron it so it stays flat permanently and then i'm going to run two stitches on top of here from the beginning all the way down to the end okay so the next thing we have to do is to join the sides remember we had notched the points where we would have the zipper and we said it should face inside so what you do is you come to you bring the first part make sure that the zipper is not the place you notched for your zipper is not sitting close to the edge make sure it's free and it's sitting uh, inside here so you're going to come immediately after the darts and that's where we're going to start joining this from all right so after you have joined the two sides of the back to the front so let me show you guys here we have the front this is the center part that we joined and stitched this is um this is one side of the back that has been joined i have joined the other side here as well okay now also i have top stitch on it from top all the way down um, after i um, showed you guys now the next step is to fix our zipper 
okay now before you fix the zipper here what you're going to do is this you are going to take your underbust um, round so the, dista the distance around your underbust and you're going to need to measure from the front into the back just to make sure that it sits right on your body so the underbust round we're dealing with is 30 so i'm going to come over here start from the beginning measure from here to here 30 divided by 2 is 15 you divide your underboss um, round by 2 15 so here you can see I have about one inch of sewing allowance make sure to check this if you have a lot of excess it's possible to have up, up to three inches what you are going to do is you are going to come from um, from the bottom that's from where you have the um, color and you are going to slowly trim out so that and keep like um, maybe two inches of excess or whatever amount of allowance that you are pleased with at your um, zipper you keep that amount before you continue make sure to measure from here from here all the way to here so you see how much excess you have for your zipper because if you just go and hold half an inch you might end up having something that is too big i hope that that is clear now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to simply close the zipper allowance for the zipper um i'm going to start from from this point here where i notched so this is five inches away from the top and i'm going to start from here and sew all the way down so now the next step i'm going to fix my zipper but before i fix my zipper since this is a stretchy fabric i'm going to iron soft gum stay from here to here on both this side of the zipper allowance and on this side so that by the time i fix my zipper the stretchiness will not make my zipper to curve if you do not know how to fix a zipper on stretchy fabric make sure to see my video how to fix a zipper on very stretchy fabric okay so here we have the back okay you can see the zipper and you can see that it's not it's not dancing because i used um interfacing on the inside to make sure that it stays flat all right so next thing is this we have um you this is the piece of paper that this is the piece of fabric that we would use to make our loops the um, piece of fabric that will hold your loops this piece here i cut it with the dimension the dimensions are four inches by six inches so it's a rectangle six inches four inches so here's four here's four six six so what you're going to do is you're going to fold it on the six and stitch from the beginning down So when you're done with making that, you simply just push this inside out like this and you have created the first piece. Do the same thing for the second piece and you would have made two. So if you are able to get the rings that we have at the back, now I personally I didn't get the rings, but if you have the rings, this is what you're going to do. Let's assume that this earring over here is a loop okay and it doesn't have this it's just like a bag ring you're going to install it like so before attaching it to your um to the rest of your fabric okay so you see this i'm now going to stitch here on so i'm going to attach the other loop on the other side and then we're going to attach the bias so let me attach the other loop Alright, so after you've attached the loop on both sides, you're going to need bias. So this right here is custom bias. I'm going to use this to finish the edges that I have. So you're going to come from the end of the zipper allowance, not from, you won't fold the zipper allowance like so. Open it up, lay it flat. I'm going to start from here. so you can see i went around from the beginning across the bus all the way down to here now we're going to turn it over to the wrong side and we'll turn all the excess we'll put all the excess under the bias all the rough work under the bias so you see that i just reduced this now you're going to use the bias cover your rough work and we're going to stitch from here all the way back to the other side of the zipper
all right so i have gone around the body the next step is to make the loop that will come from the front and, and go all the way to the back okay so now the next step is for us to make the strap that will go from the front all the way to the back so I have a piece here that is 6 inches but I've cut it very long so this is roughly 40 inches long so 6 by 40 you can make yours longer depending on what you want just telling you what I did now you're going to collapse it like this and you're going to sew from the top to the bottom okay so when you've gone a certain length you want to backstitch it here pick up your presser foot and you're going to give some allowance you can make sure you give a, at least four inches of allowance so that you'll be able to turn everything inside out properly before you continue stitching okay so we've created a hole now now after you have done that the next thing is to flatten it so you see the way i just stitched it now you're going to flatten it make sure you stay you keep it flat like so and now i'm going to stitch across okay. so now you can turn everything out of the hole that we have left when you turn everything inside out you you can seal it uh, using your machine Alright, so now the next thing is to seal the hole that we have left here and then we are basically done it's just to make the hole in front that we can pass this through. Okay, so when you're done with the belt, you can simply use your scissors half inch after here. I've, I had already recorded this but the camera was not recording and you fold it like this and just make little little notches. Look at how small the pieces were, okay? Simply just fold it in half first, collapse it like this make a small notch there you can pass the um this um, belt through here by the time you are done ironing them for the neatest finish make sure to use an eyelet in order um, to seal the hole if you want to do that but this is neoprene so this is not going to rip anyway um, if you've come this far in, uh, into the video this is the end of the video have a lovely day bye bye